You're listening to your number one station, RX Radio. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a splendid day, living a splendid life, not having to do unsplendid things such as exchange sexual favors uh, for marks. Uh, This is something that has been happening in a lot of our higher institutions of uh, learning. And uh, unfortunately, many of our sisters, daughters, and friends, uh, girlfriends even, have uh, succumbed to the urge to find the easy way out. Rather than study, sometimes they opt to get a little too friendly with the lecturer and uh, obtain good marks in uh, the process. Or else sometimes it'll be uh, a form of coercion. It'll be the lecturer saying, okay, well, uh, my dear, it looks like you didn't do so well. I can bump you up a few more points if you, uh, you know, uh, meet up with me in the hotel. It's a crazy situation, and many girls have reported this malpractice that has been happening in the schools. And for a while, there was a big, huge public debate about it. And I thought, uh, you know, the matter had been resolved. I can't remember what school it was. Was it moves where they you know, uh, put uh, some teachers to task to explain themselves, and I think some got uh, penalized. Uh, But uh, it looks like the problem persists. At least it does at uh, Kabbalah University, where the leadership has sacked Dr. Lukman Nafiu Aboidam. Uh, He's the head of uh, the Department of Economics and Statistics. Uh, He's been sacked of a sexual harassment. So um, this comes months after the university interdicted the Nigerian-born lecturer after reports emerged that uh, he had been uh, demanding sex from uh, some female students in exchange for marks. Now, uh, you have uh, been a female student. Yes. In your past life, you're a female student. Yes. Uh, and uh, have you ever been in a situation where you were asked to exchange uh, sex for marks? No, actually not. Or and to I go on a date? With a lecturer. Yeah. As a form of paying so that I get max right no that has never happened to me but it has happened to many female students has it happened to people you know no no one none that i know of well uh, it's uh, very unfortunate the reports at least uh, as far as this story goes uh, it further indicates that those who refused his advances of this nigerian born uh, lecturer uh, he would be fo- they would be forced to take retakes. Yes, and uh, this is a story that has been shared uh, by students from universities like MOOC, from universities like MOBS, mo- many especially public universities, mm-hmm. where the lecturers will fail you. You will repeat that. You will repeat the same paper over and over because you have refused to, you know, hit the shits with the lecturer. Let me ask you something because I feel like there's various ways of looking at this. Yes. And I know that uh, under no circumstances should we condone it, but I feel like in a certain context, it's less bad than a different context. Let Uh, me explain. Okay. So I'm imagining a scenario in which uh, you uh, have uh, read your books and uh, you otherwise would have received high marks except the lecturer decides to sabotage you and says to you, okay, unless you give me sex, I will not give you the marks you deserve. Like in this case. Yeah. So you may, uh, any other lecturer would have awarded you uh, an A plus or a B plus, you know, 90%, 8%. But this lecturer is saying, in spite of the fact that you've given all the correct answers, unless you give me sex, uh, I will not give you the, the, the marks that you have earned. You know, so there's that. Mm-hmm. And, and then there's the other scenario where it's like, eh, you flunked basically. <laughs> all right. Yes. And so the lecturer is offering you a chance. Actually, in that to case. fix the problem by sleeping with him. Now, if that's the, I feel like that scenario is less bad than the previous one. It is all bad because Come there, on. there is always the He's option giving you of a, resetting the paper. Because I feel like there's room for abuse where female students will keep claiming, "Oh, they're forcing me to take retakes." Hey, honey, guess what? Maybe you deserve to take retakes. No, here's the thing: there is a point where maybe it's the female student that is trying to coerce or seduce the lecturer into sleeping with them so that they award them free marks. Mm-hmm. But then there is you failing the paper. You know that when you fail the paper, you're going to have to study again and receipt that that said paper, right? Mm-hmm. But now, if the lecturer comes and still offers to give you free marks. Uh, in turn, <laughs> in turn of, uh, you know, like to sleep with him, uh-huh. it is still wrong. It is still unprofessional on on the side of the lecturer. You know, I believe that uh, life isn't perfect. And I believe that there are different roads that lead to Rome. Okay. Some roads so are <laughs> smoothly paved. Others are full of potholes. So and it's up to you. So you're the people who just find the end, uh, just find the means. I just feel like if you have flunked the paper and your lecturer says, okay, so do I flunk you or do do you want us to meet for coffee after? 
I feel like that's not as bad. It is as bad. It is. I, as I didn't bad. say it's it's right. I'm saying it's not as bad. As bad as him flanking you when you know you passed. But yeah. Because uh, you have refused it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, tell us what you think about this uh, story and also, you know, sexual harassment of female students in general. Uh, do you believe it is uh, far widespread uh, than is being reported? And uh, if so, what do you think we can do about it? Uh, and what do you think about the scenarios I painted? Are they equally bad and there could be no debate <laughs> or is one less bad as, than the other, as uh, I am alleging? Let us know. You can go to our Twitter or Facebook and leave your comment there. Uh, or you can reach out to us through the RX Radio app and uh, join us in this uh, very interesting conversation we are having. Although I feel like Olive is not telling us the full story. She... <laughs> She has been why? a student, a female student I, at these universities. Why? And no one disturbed you. No lecturer no asked you for a date, for a coffee. No, no one disturbed me. As I, beautiful as you are, no, I, none of them said, hey, hello. <laughs> you see, there are two different things here. There is a lecturer asking you out, not because he's even your lecturer. He could be a lecturer in another department, but then maybe he sees you on campus and mm -hmm. he likes you and he asks you out. I'm not saying it happened to because me. Because if you're on campus, ostensibly, aren't you age of majority? Aren't you an adult? Uh, yes. Um, was, yes. Legally? Yes, especially in year two, like for kids who go to school now. Some of What's them the age join of consent? It's not 18? 18. I'm saying See? some some kids join university at 17, but by the time they're in year two, Two, uh -huh. they're already of age. So uh, there is a lecturer <laughs> dating a student, but not for Max. And then there is a lecturer who uh, wants to co who coerces so if a it's student. Not, so if it's not for Max, then it's okay. Yeah, especially if he's not teaching her, if he's not going to, you know, to use his authority to give her free Max, it's okay. They marry them every day. Well, let's go to the phone lines. I believe we have someone on the line here. Hello, you are on the Fat Boy Show. Who are we talking to? <laughs> Mauricio Pius Pius yeah, <laughs> Pius why are you laughing yeah indeed poor souls out there. What, what's Sorry. so funny about this you know um, I've, I've, I've been I've been at um, a course fire before with uh, that kind of an experience mm -hmm. actually at my time at university I I happen to be a coordinator of uh, of the courses at my at my school, and so uh, uh, one one at one instance, uh, this guy here, a lecturer, you know, mm -hmm. uh, goes after my friend. I'm like, wow. So this guy tells me, you know what, this guy is really after me. And guess what? This guy was teaching a very very tricky, very very one one of the toughest. Uh, uh, like what? Uh, Double mm -hmm. mathematics uh, or something? Well, so it's, it's actually called advanced syntax. Oh my gosh! What is so, that? My head is spinning already. <laughs> I know. Exactly, exactly. So, so that thing, it's it's not an everyday thing, you know. All right. So in your friend's case, what happened? Was she was she able to pass the test, or was it too difficult for her? No, she she. Well, the, th the thing was just difficult. Okay, so she was not obtaining the marks she wanted. So then, what happened? <laughs> well, I think for some reason the guy was like he oh. made a, an offer she couldn't refuse. Exactly. So she, <laughs> oh, I mean, so, she was so... made an offer. However, <laughs> uh huh. However, yes, she was made the offer. But funnily enough, well, I think she turned down the offer. And oh, uh, you know okay. what happens when you turn down an offer? Yes, mm. the other way around, things happen. No, wait, wait so, a minute. But when so when he ref, when she refused to give him, did he he didn't flunk her? He just gave her the marks she had earned, which was low, right? No, yeah, she failed. She failed. So that's did, my so yeah. no, I don't. She failed, but did she get the actual failing marks or less than that? No, because there's a risk here that she's gonna she's gonna go around no. saying that these no, lecturers you know are I, trying to sleep with me, and yet mm -hmm. he didn't actually fail her. He just did not. Give no, her the extra marks no, that no. she would have got you know, if she had. You know something. You yeah. know something funny. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, it's hard to know if she just failed uh, or, or, he, or she if would. he yes. flunked her. Because, because the paper itself is really tight, you need to be really very good for you to go through mm -hmm. it. You know. So well, but but away from that, I really think that uh, it's uh, absurd that uh, a lecturer, a professional, will actually go after his own students. Well, I don't, I don't know more female lecturers, but at least i um, very sure of uh, male lecturers. And especially now for Macquarie University, I'll tell you, <laughs> this issue happened a lot. Uh, I don't know if it still happens now, but for Macquarie University, 
yes, it's been happening a lot in the Department of Economics, accounting. In the department, like you're even mentioning a particular department where this is happening. Because this oh, actually, then. this incident uh, also uh, happened uh, in the Department of Economics in Kabale University. So uh, what is the correlation <clears throat> between these departments in different no. universities? No, 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 you think you certain something. departments are more prone? I not, think not even maybe. Prone, it's, the truth is this. There, there are just some papers, question it that are very tough and they have a history of toughness. Now, things like econometrics, man, it's not an everyday thing. Now, and of course, also other departments of English, they are very difficult papers there and it's something that you do not just go, I mean, you know. Okay, like, so the harder the course is, the more likely the, there's room for abuse. Yes, because... Because the there ain't no one rich. abusing students in MDD... <laughs> A Duke, and, uh, there, Swasa. Uh, you guys are terrible. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> Journalism. Oh, no, no, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but what I'm just trying to say is this, yeah? You know, and, and these lecturers know this. And uh, once they have the leverage, I mean, they're, they're, this this little ladies are prone and vulnerable to whatsoever advances. And at times, they may not even resist. And they said reality about this is this that some of them are even used and do not even get the marks wow you know? so that's the, that's, the the most, that's the that's worst that's the worst that's the worst part of it of recent i was yeah they should story. arrest you exactly of recent i was reading a story of a, a girl who actually went on twitter and mm -hmm. uh dropped shit there like you know what this guy used me and uh, didn't even give me the marks and you doctor so and so damn i'm like wow i think i saw that tweet and uh, of course before the the pandemic before we went into mm -hmm. the first lockdown mm -hmm. there was some scandal of still a, a mock lecturer where a student filmed him taking off his yes uh, and, oh, yeah, his oh. and the nigga was and doing stuff yes, oh my gosh yes Wait. And of course, we all should not forget that uh, BBC video where they were filming lecturers in Nigeria that were also asking students to sleep with them so that they can award them marks. So this is mm -hmm. this looks like so a this... charge that the entire African continent is facing. So, in the interest of uh, let's say you know fathers who have daughters who are worried for their daughters and their nieces. Yeah. Uh, and sisters in school. Are there like uh, girls only uh, universities where like the lecturers and professors are all female? Do you think something like that would protect uh, these girls? Well, at, at this point, we, 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 can, we, cannot, we, cannot, we cannot even uh, fathom something like that because, you know, um, uh, universities are supposed to be unisex, you know? And that inclusive. Is one. And, in, and they, actually, that was the word I was even looking for. Universities are supposed to be very, But now very they're inclusive. dangerous. But you see, why yes. should we be protecting yes. women from men that are supposed to be their mentors? Exactly. That's why the are we supposed... Why are we even... We should not even consider no, the having, thing is, having the thing female is, only universities listen, just because a few men cannot keep their pants zipped? That's, and that's the problem. 90% of the men will behave, but for the ten percent who won't. Now, what can you do? Castrate them. Exactly. No, actually, what I'm <laughs> when it's too <laughs> late, when they've already uh, we will abused your child, we will the, protect the, the, the future girls this, from yeah? being molested or abused or whatever. You know, I, I like it how my father puts it: once, once beaten, cry shy. So I think, I think uh, these culprits should really be brought to book, and uh, they should really face the the, the hand of the law, and uh, they should be dealt with accordingly. And as an example. But I don't think there's a... It, it does not seem to qualify as a criminal act. It is. Well, it does. It does. Is it I a mean, criminal this act? Is, this I mean, that, that extortion, extortion is and abuse of power. Man, yes, Are those know, criminal acts? Yes. Yes, extortion is a big As in one. criminal, yes. to be charged in the penal code. Is it and, there? And, 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 you can you know be the charged, thing? yes. And, and the funny thing is this, yeah? Now, away from that, it, it goes against every university's code of conduct. Basically, that, yes, I agree that. I agree with that. that and yes. if it goes against the code of conduct, then there is yes. a law that is being no. broken. No, 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 no. Some, I mean, there's, no, it's not a one-on-one -on -one correlation. There's several uh, codes well, of conduct that and, even and, and, if you, know, you, you break and, them, and, 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 but but you're not breaking actually, the law. But this no, is the law extortion. Of the land. This is extortion, and, well, and extortion no, is, is wrong. Actually, Actually, do you know what, Oli? To it's be a hard case about, to prove, it's, it's, that's it's, what it's, I'm it's saying, to call this extortion. It's, it's not even about extortion, but this this is sexual harassment. Because how about, that's a uh, big one. you see, because what about the women who, when applying for jobs, same thing, 
uh, they are told to you know to exchange sex for jobs. But well, that but, is still but, but, sexual but no, but harassment. Is, it is still ex- but it's it's not a criminal offense. I've never seen anyone it arrested. But you can be Se- taken to court for sexual harassment, harassment and if it is yes. proven that you're guilty, yes. you will face the maybe wh- maybe in a in a civil way. But uh, I don't think what I mean is I don't think police can come for you. No, well, but 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 in in in, in a legal in a legal perspective, in a legal view, yes, sexual harassment is a big one. You know, and especially where there is no consent. I mean, that is. Such I mean, a if it is sexual harassment, it means there is no consent, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, I would and like to see. I would like to see sexual harassment where there was consent. I would. I'll be quite eager to see a case being uh, brought before a court uh, in this regard, and I'd like to see how they rule. I'd like to see what charges they will they will press on the person that uh, what is the perpetrator of it. Uh, but as far as the university in question goes, uh, University of Kabale. So the secretary wrote to this uh, lecturer informing him that the university management had found him guilty of sexual harassment and unprofessionalism. Uh, the, in a letter written to this man, they said, quote, I regret to inform you that the appointments board of Kabbalah University uh, found you guilty of sexual harassment, failure to follow examination regulations and professional negligence. And uh, he was further informed that the university board directed that he be severely reprimanded and his interdiction be lifted. He was also directed to hand over all the university property in his possession to the Dean Faculty of Economics in the presence of the internal auditor. So, yeah, so they've thrown everything at him. Yes, throw the child out with the bathroom. Except the handcuffs. Except handcuffs. Those ones, not yet, as far as we can tell.